So, Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl feels like it's been boiling on the much-delayed hob for an absolute ice age. The much-anticipated systems-driven shooter has been a decade in the making due to delays, yet thanks to cutting-edge tech, it does look like this cult classic series is returning stronger than ever. Heading to PS5, Xbox Series X and S and PC this September, this intense FPS title promises a graphically gorgeous open world that is teeming with advanced AI energy enemies, deadly environmental hazards, and deep weapon crafting. It may be arriving super late, but you know what? Stalker 2 could be THE must-play shooter of 2024. So what we've done is gather some information about this upcoming title and condensed it into 7 things that you need to know about Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. Number 7. The Legendary Shooter Makes Its Long-Awaited Return Now, Stalker is one of the all-time great cult PC franchises, and now it is finally embracing consoles with PS5 and Xbox Series X and S editions. Now, that is a colossal deal. The series may have endured technical issues in the past, but now it's well on its way to being the must-experience first-person shooter of the year. With Unreal Engine 5 tech in its back pocket, which we'll go into shortly, and a potentially ultra-punishing open-world environment that could provide Elden Ring levels of satisfaction if you can conquer its shooter and survival sim challenges, Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl has the chance to be the Half-Life 2 of this generation. If all its systems come together in seamless fashion, you could be looking at an all-time great that you simply cannot miss out on. Number 6. Meet the Anti-Call of Duty Now, COD may have ruled the roost ever since the Megaton FPS smashed through the sales ceilings thanks to 2007's legendary Modern Warfare, but there are a lot of gamers out there who favour hardcore immersion over set-piece spectacle. In that sense, Stalker has always been the polar opposite to Call of Duty, and Heart of Chernobyl looks to continue that legacy of being everything that Captain Price's exhilarating shooter series has always been against. With a focus on a full day-night cycle, dynamic weather, to contend with, alongside hunger, sleep, and radiation-preventing methods to keep on top of, Stalker 2 looks like it will be a plate-spinning shooter that constantly demands your full attention. In a market continually dominated by casual games, Heart of Chernobyl could buck that trend by being a hardcore shooting experience that serves up an extremely satisfying level of headshot nailing, stomach-satisfying challenges. Number 5. A Shooter That Uses The Most Cutting-Edge Tech Now, a big reason that Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl has been so heavily delayed is due to the sim-based shooter completely changing its core tech since its initial inception. Now built on Unreal Engine 5, which was only officially made available to developers in 2022, the underlying technology that underpins this title obviously just didn't exist 14 years ago. Now, the main selling point of Unreal's latest engine are advanced graphical features with rather slightly confusing names like Lumen and Nanite being the biggest two, and both systems were shown to work extremely well in last year's not great but weirdly brilliant-looking Robocop Rogue City. Now, Lumen is a form of dynamic global illumination that makes in-game shadows more realistic, while Nanite helps to increase in-game environmental detail thanks to impressive virtual shadow maps. The bottom line of all of this, though, is that Stalker 2 is going to be one seriously eye-arousing game. Number 4. There's a new Stalker in town, and their name is Skiff. Stalker 2's got a brand new nuclear hero, and they are enigmatic to the extreme, my friends. They're a natural loner who survives in brutal post-apocalyptic conditions through sheer force of will, and there's an element of The Last of Us's ultra-resilient Joel and Ellie seemingly baked into Skiff's digital DNA. Stalker 2's lead could potentially be one of the most emotionally layered characters since Naughty Dog's now legendary cuss-word-loving teen. What the f*** is wrong with you? And if you need another example of why Stalker 2 should be near the top of your must-buy list this year, the game's emotionally torn protagonist story arc could be a top-tier selling point when it comes to this compellingly pitched shooter. Number 3. So when will it come out? Now, Stalker 2 feels like it's been baking in an irradiated oven forever by this point, but mercifully, this long-awaited sequel looks like it'll finally come out on September the 5th this year. Considering the game was first announced all the way back in 2010, even by development hell standards, Heart of Chernobyl is on the extremely tardy side. There are a number of mitigating circumstances when it comes to Stalker 2's numerous delays. Switching to Unreal Engine 5 so late in the game's development cycle has obviously proven to be the biggest deal for, for developer CSC Game World. But 
An even larger and far sadder behind-the-scenes situation is that at one point, the studio staff was cut by an eye-watering 75%. When you take that startling figure into account, that extremely lengthy wait, well, it's entirely understandable. Number 2. The Most Advanced AI Around The original Stalker trilogy is legendary, there's no doubt about that, in large part thanks to how ahead of the game its AI enemies were. And Heart of Chernobyl looks like it's set to honour that tradition with a collection of bad guys that should challenge players in ways that few games would have ever committed to since Metal Gear Solid 2's near-mythically switched on guards all the way back in 2001. With fellow human stalkers to contend with as you have virtual smackdowns over valuable artefacts, you'll also face the challenge of battling a large variety of vicious mutants that will gladly tear off your skin at any given opportunity. And while all of this sounds daunting, Skiff is at least assisted by an armory of over 30 weapon types and a strange-sounding jelly material that surrounds Stalker 2's many swamps, which can help regenerate your stamina in the fight against energy-sapping beasties. And number one, can Stalker 2 finally shed the series' infamous jank? Now, the final massive question over Stalker 2's potential success is, can it overcome the distracting tech issues that have troubled the long-dormant gun-happy series for years? Well, the answer isn't easy, yet considering how smoothly Unreal 5 tech has been implemented into a variety of games over the last year or so, there's every chance that this game could deliver that technical knockout blow. This is a premier PC port first and foremost. In the envelope-pushing fashion that Cyberpunk 2077 so confidently delivered after a rocky launch, a bunch of patches promptly fixed. It's currently hard to judge just how attractive Stalker 2 will appear on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, but it could prove to be one of the best-looking PC games ever made. And that is reason enough to get very excited.